and we're back. Um, it did not actually save from when I left here, so I had to do the entire investigation again. Um, I still don't know what that is. And let's continue. Wait, oh. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Wait, she's old? Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him. <laughs> Hey, hey, how the hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey, come back! Those notes aren't for you. Oh, great. Looks like some sort of code or something. If I have to translate, uh... Yeah, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. Let's see if... She's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. Maybe she's getting too much sugar. Okay. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Enjoy scaring kids? This little girl cost me everything. It was supposed to be a simple job. Easy money. What do you mean? She's just a kid. It don't matter what she is. Her daddy owed too much to the wrong people. She was just an insurance policy. Is that where you come in? A simple snatch and grab. After everything was settled up, I'd let her go. I'm guessing it wasn't so simple. That may be. But she owes me now. And I ain't leaving until her debt is paid. Cut your losses. Maybe a while. Don't worry. I can wait. I've got nothing but time, my friend. Okay. Asshole. likes me or she's just being nice a few more good cards would help keep cool big boy next hand you take her down want to let her win but she's just gonna win anyway <laughs> just Come on, in? Oh, yeah. good lord these boys are easy pickings poor guys I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. Good lord, these boys are easy pickings. Ah. Cards are not 
Why am I collecting? Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. I've got nothing but time, my friend. Awesome. Go to the poker room, okay. Find you, they will hunt you down and suck your soul. Okay. <laughs> you can move with the hide objects. So that's what these are for. What do I do? Still there. I think I have to um, get his attention.
Oke, okay, I died. You can't just blink in front of them, huh? Yourself, kid. Voices. Those fucking voices. I'm scared. I just wanted them to stop. Why didn't you turn to someone for help? A doctor or a friend or something? No one listened. No one took me seriously. This was the only way to make them stop. It was just so much noise. Let's go back and see if I missed anything. Uh, this is by far the worst birthday party ever. What do you mean? We got brews? We got TV? What more do you want? Uh, I don't know. Party? Why can't adventures happen without going outside? I mean... You know, I'd be fine just watching a video. Yeah. Logistically speaking, how do we... Oh. Who's this guy? Hey, it's it's you. You're famous. <laughs> Check Hello. out the TV. I'm good, thanks. I I think that older guy thing will have a uh, significant. Uh, purpose later. So, empty house. Guy died there. So that's it, I guess, for this floor. <coughs> so let's continue. To the crime scene. Okay, folks, I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. I got why doesn't this guy answer Jill? She's got good questions. God, why can't I think of anything original to ask? Don't want to be outside alone now. I should make sure I stay with these people when I go. <coughs> <coughs> What are they 
afraid of. That we'll be afraid of a killer. I'm afraid already. God, why don't they just tell us? Ah. Same police department. Why does everyone need the gory details? Ah. This isn't a party. This is a murder investigation. How do you wish Scott would loosen up? Jeez, just tell them what happened. They'll find out soon enough. Sir, I'd appreciate it if you just move along and. Low us. Uh. You seen that little girl that lives here? She turns up. You come find me. Got it? Okay. So the cigar, it doesn't end. Ah. Uh. Damn it. My mom gave me that gun. <laughs> what was the killer doing here in the first place? What did I miss? Okay, before we do that, um, let me go out for a bit. Okay, I need to... The watery grave. her away if it meant pushing her to safety.
fight we had earlier. What else? That. Six of fourteen clues. I'm missing a lot. Um, here. I guess. Why is this here? It's my memory. I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. Oh, it is very different. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Mm -hmm. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally <laughs> soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking, and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Mm -hmm. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do, so he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. The boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. Holy shit. That's when wet footprints Holy began to appear shit. on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old rusty boiler was a bloated, uh. decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide. <coughs> and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. <coughs> However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market. And I doubt I'll ever feel clean again. So I'm really, really, really uh, out of ideas for this place. Um, do I just why right now? Um, lack of clues. Maybe they know something. Scott would loosen up. Maybe if I exit. There's an exit, right? 
maybe the girl exited the room here. Like she was here during the scuffle. She went out. Need to finish investigating before the ah. Really. Okay, You're under arrest. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? I'm not entirely sure alive. what I need to do. What would make him what? What would make him move the photo under the folder? Nope. Wait for a while. Hello? Y yes. No. No. Um, you are the second person that called in. Can you not? back uh, let's let's let's
I don't wanna I don't wanna guess my way but uh let's do this Okay let's just, okay there Can it really be that easy? Should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. Just always your down. Okay. Out the window. Gun me down in the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. So that's it for today. Or this session. Uh, see you next time. Bye.